Hello, I've gotten a number of requests to do a, a video or presentation of our rocket stove. Um, so here's the uh, first one. Um, this is the burn area of the rocket stove. Um, and I'm just kind of panning across to the bench area. Now it, it looks really rough at this point. Um, this is what I would consider an unfinished project. Um, we actually decided next spring to dismantle it and redo it and incorporate all of the uh, features and, and fixes that I've learned along the way. But uh, just wanted to kind of give an overview or a quick show of what it looks like. Um, there you see the wood uh, sticking out of the opening there. Uh, there's fire down in there, of course. And this is kind of what makes the rocket stove a little bit unique, is that the rocket stove actually sucks uh, the fire down into it rather than the fire coming up the way it normally does. Um, there's actually uh, a kind of a chamber that goes down here, and then it follows along until it comes about midway underneath the barrel. And then there's an insulated chamber that comes up on the inside of the barrel till about uh, two inches below the top. And then uh, it lets the fire and hot gas escape there. It hits the uh, top of the barrel and then uh, kind of comes down the sides, cooling as it goes. And uh, once it reaches the bottom, it uh, enters uh, some stovepipe in the bench here, and it runs along, and you'll actually, here at the end, you'll see some of the stovepipe that sticks out there uh, through an unfinished part of the bench. The stovepipe rotates around, comes on the back side, and basically comes back out of the bench, and then rises up here before it exits the house. Now, basically the point here is that um, you want to capture as much of the heat before it leaves the house. And this is the primary point of the bench here uh, and the barrel, is the barrel uh, releases heat quickly. Uh, the bench basically absorbs the heat from the stovepipe and then stores it in uh, the heavy bench, which is the mass. So the bench heats up slowly, and then uh, once the fire has gone out, the bench continues to release heat into the air. Um, I'll go ahead and point out here on the stovepipe. I can hold my hand up against it, um, and it is warm, but the basically the point is, is that it extracts enough heat from the fire, uh, and so that the we don't have much uh, heat being lost where it escapes uh, or heat going out of the house before it uh, before it gets caught. Um, estimate uh, estimations are now I haven't or I don't have any way of measuring the temperature, but I've heard a lot of estimates that the inside of the burn area uh, can be around 2,000 degrees. Um, and then as it actually exits or leaves the barrel, the inside of the barrel, uh, it can be anywhere from four to 500 degrees or so. And then that travels along the bench, releasing heat as it goes. And then where it actually leaves the stovepipe, uh, this temperature here might be hmm, 130, 140 degrees possibly. Um, when it gets when it gets warm, you don't want to hold your hand there too long, but um, uh, it, it's not extremely dangerous. The barrel itself, of course, is is pretty hot, uh, too hot to touch. Um, basically, the surrounding um, or the material that the stove is made out of, like, for example, this bench, it's kind of a mixture of clay and straw and sand. And uh, when, when it's left, it'll harden and become very, very hard. Um, 
Now on the top here, it's pretty warm. Um, one thing that I found is when I originally built the bench, um, I, I mixed small batches of clay and straw and sand and then just kind of put it up by hand. Since that time, I've realized that I could save a lot of time and energy by building a box and putting the uh, stovepipe in the box and then just making a loose mixture of the clay, sand, and straw and then just kind of pouring, pouring it in. And then once it dries, remove the sides of the box. Um, wood kind of, I'll adjust the wood here a little bit. As you can see, there's a nice healthy flame there. <clears throat> um, the actual burn chamber uh, where the wood goes in and then the chamber that goes along underneath the barrel and then the part that goes up inside the barrel um, is uh, made under made out of uh, fire brick. Um, I, there's a lot of videos you'll see on YouTube that show that co particular component being made out of metal. Um, and I've actually seen some YouTube videos where they build a rocket stove and the inside um, is made out of stovepipe. And uh, the first year that we did this, we learned the hard way uh, that stovepipe doesn't handle the heat that well. Um, and I think we burned the rocket stove mm, one or two months, and then the uh, stovepipe itself just disintegrated because the heat at that point was just way too high. Uh, for it to handle. Uh, so, so far we've had pretty good success with the rocket, uh, with the uh, fire brick, and um, I've been pretty happy with that so far. Um, another thing with the bench here that I'll mention is that um, a lot of people nowadays are starting to find that um, the more rock and heavy items like scrap concrete and things like that that you put into your bench, the better it's able to hold the heat. Or, you know, once the fire has gone out, uh, it'll release heat for a much longer period of time. Um, the thing is, is that the rock weighs a lot more than the clay and sand mixture. And so this is actually built on top of a wood floor. And uh, the wood floor is... Um, is actually in an old log house that was built um, in the early 1900s. And so I was a little bit afraid of having such a, a large weight uh, on the floor there. Um, so in, in reality, I've heard people say that they can you know, run the fire for a couple hours in the morning and the evening, and that's really all that they need uh, to, to provide heat in the area where they have the stove. Um, I found that we need to have the fire in there more frequently. And a lot of that's probably due to the house not really having that great of an insulation. Um, behind the old plaster walls there are the actual logs, and uh, there's really no insulation in that part at all. Um, Again, like I mentioned before, we're planning on rebuilding this, um, and I plan on making a much neater version at that point. Uh, look a lot more uniform and, and a lot nicer. Um, even Might even add some decoration with tile and uh, stuff like that around the edge. So anyway, just wanted to give you a quick overview and show you what we have. And um, I'll probably follow this up with uh, some additional videos. Um, talking about mistakes that we made and things not to do. Uh, and anyway, uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching.